Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and today in this doll comparison, I'm going to be taking a look at all the dolls that I have that are based off of deers. And as you can see here, three of them are from Monster High, and then there's one Novi Star. Um, so we can just ch check them out up close and all together, because I really love the deer themed dolls. I think they're really, really cute. So let's get started. First off, we'll check out the antlers or horns that each one has and how they're different. <laughs> Starting with Fontaine, who is a deer themed nightmare. And her antlers are quite large and they're connected to her head. And they also come with the little decorations, but they're this um, kind of reddish brown color. Then in the Monster High line again, then we have Issy Dawn Dancer, who's the recent, most recent doll to come out. And she doesn't actually have antlers connected to her head. She has this headband with antlers on it. So they did a little different for her than the rest of the dolls. Next up is Gilda Goldstag, who is the daughter of Golden Hind. Which is like, um, I had to look it up because I was like, what is that? And it's apparently in mythology. It's what It was, I think, Athena's, like, this gold deer. Um, but anyway, it was a deer-like creature, so I included Gilda Goldstad. And she for doesn't have antlers, really. She has these two horns that look more like a ram horn. But it's still pretty cool. They're connected. You can see towards the front of her forehead they come out. And then finally we have the Snowy Star whose name is Doe A Deer. And her antlers are also connected to her head. But in addition to antlers, she has these antenna because Novi Stars are like aliens. So she's an alien deer mix which I think is really cool. And she actually has my favorite antlers because I think out of all of them, hers look the most natural. Next, we'll check out their hair and their face. So this is Fontaine, and she has little um, freckles. They did green freckles for her. And her eyebrows are really unique. They look like an antler shape with the different, um, different branches and everything. And then for the ears, they gave her like these downturned deer-like ears. And she has blonde and green hair and a tanned skin tone. So she's really pretty. I love the way her face looks and the little, the little shy downturned ears are really cute to me. Next up is Issy Dawn Dancer. And if you look at her face, you can see she has big doe-like ears and then she has white spots. You could think of them as freckles or like deer spots or both. I like to think of them as both freckles and adorable deer spots. And then for the nose, they gave her a deer nose by painting the underside black. And then uh, her eyebrows kind of have that line to give the long nose look of a deer. And then for her ears, she has two perky doe ears. So they did it a little different than Fontaine um, with like, she has perky ears instead of like a downcast ear, but they both have spots on their face, which I think is really cute. And then for Issy, she has long, beautiful turquoise hair that is again, straight and um, very long. And then for Gilda, she has really short, spiky pink hair. And on her face, her eyes are big and round and deer-like. And then they have these pink spots going down her nose, which I thought were really cool. And then for her ears, she has pointed ears, but they're like more where a human ear would be instead of a deer's ears. And I really like her shiny gold skin tone. I thought that was really pretty. And she doesn't have any eyebrows. The dots kind of replaced the eyebrows. And last up for the faces is uh, Doe a Deer. 
when you check out her face, the Novi Stars have the inset eyes, which I really, really like, and the real lashes. But her skin tone is pretty light, except for the edges where you get that little bit of brown and a little bit of deer spotting. And if you look into her eyes, you can see like a silhouette of a deer, which I thought was really cute. And then she has this lovely, loose, long lavender hair. Really, really pretty. And for her ears, she also has more in a humanized spot. Or for her, she's an alien, so. Uh, but anyway, and they're, they're, um, they're pointed like Gilda's. So, so far we have like two that have more humanish, elfy kind of ears. And then two that have more of a doe ear. Getting into their outfits and their body shape. Obviously, you can see three out of the four have like a human body shape and then of course Fontaine being a Frightmare has like a centaur body but is made into a deer centaur body with brown deer body which I think I like that a lot. I think centaurs are cool and for Issy, she's special because instead of regular feet she has little um, doe hooves which is a great detail to me. They did a great job with that. And as far as the outfits go, um, it's none two are like the same. Uh, Gilda and Issy are kind of the same where they have like um, tighter outfits that allow more flexibility. Then Gilda be running a lot. And then Issy, of course, is a dancer. So that was really cool. One of my favorite outfits, though, is for Doey Deer. I love her dress. I think it's so cute. It looks like it's made out of leaves and flowers, so it's a little bit more natural looking, even though she's like an alien. But overall, I think they did a really good job, both Monster High and the Novi Stars, of uh, combining the deer and the doll together into a really, really cool dolls. I enjoy this theme and I hope to see more deer like characters maybe maybe from Ever After High or Monster High more and um, or some other brand new line down the low road have more deer like characters because they're really cute what do you guys think of these uh, different deer dolls which one is your favorite um, and uh, do you like their antlers? I do wish like Issy had antlers or Gilda had antlers instead of those kind of um, horns. Let me know down in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching this doll comparison. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you're a new viewer hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. Bye!